The recent short-lived court case regarding the Taj Mahal's locked rooms has once again highlighted the conspiracy theories surrounding the 17th century monument. The Allahabad High Court rejected a BJP leader's petition to ask the Archaeological Survey of India to open over 20 locked rooms to see if they house idols of Hindu gods. But what is inside these mysterious rooms? Here is what historian and Taj researcher Eba Koch told BBC. She said that the rooms are part of an underground chamber for summer months. Fifteen rooms located in a line along the riverfront are reached by a narrow corridor. There are seven larger chambers extended by niches on each side. Further, there are six square-shaped rooms and two octagonal rooms. They are decorated with netted patterns, circles of stars, and medallions. These probably served as a cool recreational place for visiting Mughal emperors. The chamber does not receive any natural light now. These underground galleries are common in Mughal architecture. The BBC quoted another historian, Rana Safwi, as saying that the underground rooms were open to visitors until a flood in 1978. Water had entered the mausoleum and some of the underground rooms were silted. Some chambers even suffered cracks, according to Safwi. The rooms have been closed for the public ever since, but are open for restoration work, according to the report.